Hello everyone, welcome to my ERP video in which today you will learn how you can generate the purchase return entry in Mark software. As we already know that in the normal day-to-day -day functioning of a business, it is a normal thing if any purchased goods or stock is returned. And this can happen due to many reasons such as items have expired, items are broken, and there are some items whose sale in the market that are negligible and shopkeepers do not require that stock anymore or the quality of the stock is not good, etc. So you can easily create the purchase return entry in Marg ERP software and can also maintain their record. Now let's come and generate the entry of purchase return in Marg software for which we will go to the transactions menu then to purchase return and then we will click on the debit note option. Then from the ledgers window, we will select the ledger of the party for whom you want to create the debit note. After this, you will mention the party number and then mention the date of the debit note here. That is on which date you want to create the debit note and then we will press enter. Then this window of bill details will open with some fields. Along with this, on the right side, those bill details will be shown to you which you have purchased from this party. Now we will discuss on the fields given in the bill details window in which first is save company wise. If you want to save the returned items company wise, then from the drop down, we will select yes. Otherwise, keep it as no. Then is batch selection in which from this drop down, three options will be shown to you. That is manual, select purchase batch and open history. Manual. If you are generating the return entry of those items and you want to manually feed the batch of those items or want to select it, then you will set this field to manual. Select purchase batch. If you want that the software should give the permission of selecting the batch of only those items which you have purchased from this party, then you can set this field to select purchase batch. Open history. And if you set this field to open history, then when you will select any item purchased from this party, then the software will show you the history of that item. That is on which dates you have purchased this item from this party and what is the quantity, etc. So for now, we will take the batch selection as manual. After this is return of bills in which three options are shown to you. Multiple, separate and bill by bill. Multiple. If you want to adjust the multiple items of different bills into a single debit note, then in this condition, you will set this field to multiple. Separate. If you want to create separate debit notes for multiple bills, then you will set this field to separate. Bill by bill means that if you want to create a purchase return entry against any particular bill, then you will set this field to bill by bill. So for now, we take the return of bills as bill by bill. After this is the return of bill. Here you will mention that bill number against which you want to create the debit node entry. And if you want to create the debit node entry against the last sale bill, then you can press the down arrow key so that the software will auto pick the last bill number, bill date and bill amount on the basis of the last purchase done. After this, you will mention the reason for the purchase return here, which is mandatory and must be filled. And then, Press the enter key and we will come to the calculation type field. Then from the drop down of calculation type, you will select that calculation type on the basis of which you have done your purchase entry and then press enter. So the bill number which we have mentioned, the items of that bill will be shown to you. Now by pressing the spacebar key, you will select those items of which you want to create the purchase return and then press enter key. In this way, the items will get loaded in the bill. Now by simply pressing the Ctrl W key, you will save the bill. So you will see that the software has opened the adjustment detail window along with saving the purchase return entry in which all the details like bill number, bill date, what was the old amount and how many rupees of debit note has been adjusted and what is the new amount will be shown to you. You will simply click on save in order to save the entry. After this, a window of bill adjustment will open in which firstly from the drop down of type field, you will select the adjustment reference and will press enter. Then the software will ask you that against which invoice you want to adjust the debit note entry. So by pressing the spacebar key or by pressing enter key on it, 
you will select that purchase invoice from the shown invoices against which you want to create the debit note entry in this way the purchase entry will get generated so friends in this way you can generate the purchase return entry in margi rp software thanks for watching